Hey guys, uh, welcome to this new tutorial on Grasshopper and today we're going to quickly see um, based on the example of the last class um, a little bit more of lists uh, but also the ability to using call and dispatch right so I'm just going to rebuild the network that we had last class just make sure to draw a line and a series of points and then so if you haven't done that so far just do the past tutorial and you'll see that so oops sorry let's go quickly and set one curve I hope that you guys I mean the good thing about Grasshopper is that it's quite straightforward in many ways uh, so some of the concepts are easier to grasp and hopefully it would be a good rhythm to just start getting really fast into it right so again we have this situation here uh, we have points and we have a curve I'm gonna do again a evaluation of the curve uh, we just could go here into curve analysis evaluate curve so I'm gonna evaluate that curve in a parameter so again I'm repeating some of the stuff that I did just last class last tutorial I'm gonna put five here right so I can just pick that okay so we have a point in the curve and we're gonna just calculate the distance between the point and the evaluation point so we have a list of uh, distances right so what I'm gonna do now is just what I'm gonna try to do is just connect a line only between points that are within certain range right so let's try to do that and to do that I'm gonna just introduce the concept of culling so let's go ahead and use some of these math operators uh, if we go into the math panel there's a lot of math operators so don't get scared about that and you can go here into operators and we'll say well what about smaller than smaller than is a really good one because um, we could say if the distance of the points right uh, it's smaller than uh, something like we need to provide a value now mm, slider we could say smaller than in this case 0 0.25 but we can edit that to just be something like maybe 30 we just increase that let's check the panel and what is this smaller than giving us so it's giving us a list and when some of them are false some of them are true and that changes depending on how we move this right so the distance is being evaluated from our evaluation point to all the other points and some of them will be smaller than 11 and some of them will be bigger than 11 right so we're basically having some of them false and some of them true this is what we call a pattern right so this pattern is something that we can use to let's say uh, break a list or just get rid of some of the ingredients of the list right so I'm gonna just leave this pattern here because it's something really useful for other operations right so what do we want to do we want to just pick the point list and I'm gonna go into sets and here in sequence we have something called call pattern right so basically it will remove from a list all the elements that are false in a given pattern right so we have the pattern now we're gonna just pick the list of points connected here as a list we need the pattern to be this pattern right So we could just get rid of this but it's important that you understand that this is the pattern that we're using and um, now we can make a line between these guys and the evaluation point right so basically what we're saying here is just evaluate the curve calculate the distances if the distances are smaller than this value so you can see that we can use that as a slider as well so we can just increase or decrease the number and basically the culling is getting rid of everything that is false in that list so any any element that is false in this pattern would get removed you can check that with this panel here 
and you'll see that you have some reference points, but they're much less, right, uh, from the original one. So we can just move this point around, and you'll see that it, we're kind of working with the points in range. Right? And again, the radius is specified here. So that's for culling. Let's try to get a very similar situation, but in this case, uh, something else like dispatching. Right? So culling is an option, is to get rid of everything else in the list. But there's one more that is here in list dispatch. Right? Which is, I mean, it's almost more useful than calling because you, if you use dispatch, you have the same ability than calling, but you get both lists. You get the one that is kind of true and the ones that is false. So let's connect the list again and use the pattern here as the required pattern. So it will tell us there's so many trues and there's so many false, right? So we could say, well, why don't you just build a sphere, let's say? Uh, so we can go here into surface primitive. Let's say use a sphere in the points that are true, right? So we can move the point around, and you see that all the points that are within the radius, as we did with the line, they get a sphere, right? But maybe we want to just do a square or a box, right? A box center to all the guys that are not in that radius, right? So we can increase the radius or reduce the radius, right? But in this case, as opposed to culling, we're just basically getting both options, right? And again, we have the same op operations to just be able to move the point and whatever, if we are close from the point, we get spheres. If we're far away from the point, we get squares, right? Very straightforward. So again, a few more operations with lists uh, using the smaller than operation, it could be also greater than, and dispatching and culling, which are really useful to start kind of affecting not everything but just some of the ingredients based on some logic, right? So we're using some logic and we're using that pattern to kind of uh, switch the operations that we're using. So that's it for this tutorial and see you soon.